All right, people, it is here. The Five Nights at Freddy's movie trailer. I'm kind of looking forward to this. Okay, okay, first thing, this is a little nitpick. The, the thumbnail kind of looks like a SFM video. You know, those are popular. But hey, who cares? Let's get on with it right now. Welcome to Freddy Fazbear's Pizzeria, where fantasy and fun come to life. Hit it, guys. If you're watching this video, it means you've been selected as Freddy's newest security guard. Hello? We're going to have so much fun together. Oh no. <laughs> oh, there's, there's a Matthew Lillard! Jump scare. Okay, uh, okay, that was a little short, but... Okay, give me a second. Stop playing. Okay, so, they obviously... Okay, so first off, there was a little bit of a tobacco of a trailer being leaked, but apparently the person who leaked the trailer was like... A kid so they couldn't really take legal action you know I don't know I didn't follow the whole story but honestly this trailer looks pretty decent you know my my main complaint right now is that the animatronics kind of look off a bit but overall yeah uh, I, I'm looking forward to this movie especially after hearing that Matthew Lillard is gonna be in it and uh you know, Matthew Lillard is just perfect casting for, like, the purple guy. I mean, so many people would have gone with Jim Carrey or William Dafoe, but way too expensive for a budget like this. And, of course, there's Josh Hutcherson, which all of us 2010s kids know from The Hunger Games and stuff like that, except I only seen the first movie. So, uh, just so I could pad out the running time for this video, because I want to make fucking money, uh... First off, uh... Hold on, give me a second. Okay, sorry, my mom texted me. Anyway, uh, so first off, I, I want to say something about... Uh... Okay, so this movie was in production since uh, 2016. It was originally at Warner Brothers, and now it's in Blumhouse. Hold on, hold on, let me... Okay, I know the guy I'm looking up is controversial now, which I'm starting to hate his guts too, but... Okay, okay, one more thing about... Oh, yeah, 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 now I remember, now I remember, yeah, yeah, now I remember. Uh, Chris Columbus was gonna direct the film at one point. I, I, I think he's perfect for a film like this, but he left. I'm, I'm not sure why, we never got an official reason why, but hey... Okay, okay, it was announced many years ago that it was gonna be done by Warner Brothers, and, like, it went from screenplay to screenplay. One of them was, like, about government experiments and stuff like that, which is, what? That's what you want to see out of a Five Nights at Freddy's movie? It, it, it's like if the Terminators had fursonas or something like that. Please, for the love of God, do not associate me with those things. Anyway... Also, John Campio said that Five Nights at Freddy's was a game that made him jump. The first thing that made him jump in a long time. Really, John? Really? You, the guy who fucking loves Man of Steel, I, I haven't seen that movie in a long time, is, is afraid of Five Nights at Freddy's? Grow up. Anyway, uh... Anyway, yeah. Uh, so, is there... Okay, and Matthew Lillard did say that there's a trilogy being planned, which Scott did confirm that a long time ago. Now, I, I might be feeling like a Five Nights at Freddy's fan... I might be feeling like a Five Nights at Freddy's fanboy here, real quick. But, but here's the thing, I'm not that big of a Five Nights at Freddy's fan. Like, I was when I was a kid, but the problem was, uh... I never really was the biggest fan. I mean, I was a big fan, but I never really played the games. Like, I, I was basically like the Kevin Feige of Five Nights at Freddy's, if any of you know what I mean. But yeah. And, uh... Uh... Yeah, so... Oh, uh... Uh... 
like I saw gameplay videos of Security Breach. I the game looks good. I still haven't played it yet, but hey, you know I'm not obsessed with FNAF. I mean, I mean I like the game's story, like you know Chuck E. Cheese coming to life and trying to kick your ass. But yeah, you know. But hey, can we get a Five Nights at Freddy's and Terminator crossover? I'd watch the hell out of that. Anyway, uh, that's it. But I want to talk about some other things here real quick. Uh, there was also this uh, controversy with Scott Cawthon a few years back about him donating to politicians and everyone was accusing him of being this or that, even though these people, even the people defending him are too stupid to fucking look up their shit, look up any of these politicians' shit. But hey, you know, stuff like that. I don't know. I'm just talking just to talk. So yeah, I'm looking forward to this, guys, and I'll see y'all later. Bye. Also, I'm guaranteeing that this is going to get more views because it's FNAF.